Hi guys, welcome to WebJada. In this one, I'm gonna explain why I like Svelte so much. I have made some points, I'll just put them here. The first reason to like Svelte is it's web developer friendly. So I'm a web developer and I like CSS, JavaScript and plain old HTML. To be honest, I, I never really liked any other uh, JS framework before because uh, they asked me or expected me to learn something new. Sometimes new syntax, uh, sometimes new ways to use the markup and so on and so forth. I'm okay to learn new things but I did not dig deep into any of them because uh, they felt like a deviation from the regular HTML, CSS and JavaScript that I used every day. Eventually, uh, I had to take up React uh, which, uh, which was uh, kind of uh, forced on to me but I started liking it I understood the true productivity and simplicity that can be obtained uh, from a JavaScript framework uh, but I did not like how react uses JSX or HTML inside uh, JavaScript uh, like something like this here so this this always felt wrong to me Along with all this, I was trying to learn Vue as well. Uh, so Vue was kind of good. I mean, uh, it seemed more like HTML and less like JSX. Uh, I don't know. I still like Vue uh, for the fact that you can just put a script tag in any HTML app or in any HTML page and you can start using Vue, which is fantastic. This is exactly how we add JavaScript plugins to a HTML page. Let's say you are designing a home page and you want to have a carousel or a slider on it. You just go to something like a slick slider or something or old slider and you get the script from there, some initialization and you're done. You have a slider. That's how easy Vue is. Uh, you can start using it. In that way, Vue was revolutionary for me at least. So I was still into Vue until uh, I watched uh, this video called uh, Rethinking uh, Reactivity uh, by Rich Harris. I'm not sure how I ended up watching uh, this video, but I'm glad I watched it. So uh, I still watch it time to time uh, just to, uh, you know, understand the genius of uh, Rich Harris, uh, how he looked at these uh, JavaScript frameworks in a different angle and utilized compiler instead of the browser to handle all the logic and also uh, how he found out uh, truly uh, how he found out a way to truly reactify elements without a DOM diffing where you change something in the virtual DOM and compare it with the actual DOM and then update the difference in the actual DOM. So uh, don't worry if I if this is like you know uh, going over your head, but uh, just understand that all the other frameworks are using virtual DOM, which is uh, which is an overhead. Um, and in that way, since uh, Swelt is truly reactive, he kind of got rid of the virtual DOM completely, uh, which is radically different from other frameworks. So Swelt was uh, mind blowing for me uh, because I, uh, finally I found this JavaScript framework uh, that isn't difficult to learn. It uses less number of code to achieve the same thing that most uh, most other uh, frameworks take uh, too many numbers of codes, and uh, most of all, it spits out a tiny JS file which doesn't need any runtime environment to run on. Right? That, that's a huge benefit and these things should be enough to get excited about Svelte but there are other things that I like about Svelte. So uh, you can, uh, you know, the second point being you can just write HTML. So Svelte is kind of like a super set of HTML and I can just uh, write something and it, it, will, it will start working. I mean like let's say, you know, in the same page if I want a H1 uh, or let's say I take a paragraph um, I'll write something in it and it works I can just have HTML 
and uh, creating components is also easy like you can see that you know y is a component i can also create another you know a component called uh, paragraph or something uh, and i can have another paragraph here with uh, something else okay so i can just import that here uh, naming it para and then i can just use it here like this and it comes there it was so easy i mean uh, i i i did not use much of uh, javascript here maybe one line and that's it so another thing that's amazing is scoped style so if you if you like apply style uh, to uh, one component it will not affect the other one so if i am applying style to this paragraph let's say i make this uh, paragraph something like um, color uh, maybe red okay so that applies to the same uh, only this paragraph not the one came from you know this component now i can apply style to this component separately like here and this will not pollute the other one or cascade into the other one so i'll change the color to uh, green here let's say now these uh, at the end at the end of it you know they are still two paragraphs but uh, their styles are scoped to the you know component they are in uh, that's something amazing so uh, i have had problems with uh, you know uh, css being all over the place uh, so this solves that uh, that's that's fantastic and it's it's kind of like you know uh, we have everything in a component like you know uh, there is style uh, there is script and there are html uh, in the you know in the same file so in a way uh, swelt is a is a complete web component um, which has everything uh, in a single file and it's it makes sense you, you can you can do this in react but uh, you you'll get really tired of it because uh, you have to write jsx and you have to have styles i'm, I'm uh, really not sure how to do it even now because i use tailwind or bootstrap so that way you know there is it's not a big problem but if you want to write plain old css then then you will face a lot of problems in react as well so uh, this this guy called Kent Beck uh, has this uh, really good quote, uh, which um, says, "When you feel the need to write a comment, um, first try to refactor the code." And uh, so so, what he's saying is that you know your code should be readable, and just by looking at your code, somebody should know that what's happening in that uh, in that app or in that component they should know what's happening so you shouldn't be writing comments about so this is what is happening in this in this uh, component so as i mentioned earlier uh, i use react at my work so i have to explain my coworkers about what's happening in a react component uh, just by going through the code they they will not know what the hell is happening Svelte kind of solves this problem so um, the other point is uh, it's easy to learn for JS beginners so I, I'm not an expert in uh, JavaScript um, I have done some you know uh, courses online uh, but I'm nowhere near to be an expert and I use Svelte uh, for developing apps I mean it, it doesn't doesn't bother me that I don't know much JavaScript the the learning curve is is almost nil if you know a little bit of js then you can start using Swelt. there aren't many syntaxes to learn compared to other javascript frameworks like react or Vue, uh, but there are some uh, like there is if there is for loop so there are syntaxes for that other than that you know um, there isn't much and uh, the sec the next point is uh, writing less so Svelte uh, in Svelte the number of lines you write is less when compared to other top JS frameworks um, let's say you want to bind input to a variable and show it 
in the same uh, place or same component uh, it takes way less code in Svelte uh, I'll, I'll show you how you can do that so there is this paragraph tag I'll, I'll show it here itself uh, there is world I can have a I can just show the world here uh, just by having this so world is shown there and I can have an input just below that and uh, bind its value uh, to name and there you go you have a two-way binding right so that was so easy I mean it it, it looks very easy I mean there are like three four lines of code and it's done try to achieve the same thing in react you, you, you'll get annoyed uh, trying to do this in react anyway so uh, so less code means you know usually less errors and less you know bugs and easy to debug as well and the last point uh, being uh, its performance it has amazing performance swell performs astonishingly well compared to you know apps developed with other frameworks i have developed a decent uh, e-commerce site that i'm going to show you right now um which is which is you know uh, using um, Svelte with tailwind and the performance is amazing i had so much fun developing it uh, previously it was built using jquery and the performance was fairly good i mean uh, i was importing too many javascripts i mean for these animations and effects and everything uh, it was it was huge um, i mean uh, the jquery script itself was huge and uh, after converting it to Svelte, the bundle size uh, became very small not to mention that um, I do not add any more uh, scripts to get animations uh, which I used to do before uh, Svelte does it for me so I think um, I have uh, mentioned all the things um, that I wanted to um, I hope that makes it clear um, let me know uh, why why you like Svelte or whether you like Svelte uh, why do you like it or what uh, property of Svelte or what quality of Svelte or what functionality of Svelte uh, made you like it. Thanks. Bye guys.